bloody 10 mil. Top Gear Rally, developed by Boss Game Studios, published by Midway Games in North America and Chemco in Europe. Released in October 1997 in North America and November 1997 in Europe and Australia. The game is a spin-off of the TV series. It's a dirt rallying racing game where you must complete six seasons of races in several terrains and environments such as dirt, snow and sand as you traverse and complete each race. Let's check it out. Game's title screen. Got yourself some catchy music, not too bad. You got yourself championship, arcade, time attack, practice, paint shop, and load and save. Go championship. Okay, we're up to race two at the desert. Get a pick out car. We got the RS, six speed. You got your acceleration, max speed up top. Handling. We'll go number one. We'll just go. We'll just go automatic. Tires, grippy, slippy. <laughs> we'll just go to grippy. Suspension. We'll go hard. Car sounds pretty mean, eh? You can change your view options using the C buttons. You got three different options there. We'll just go with this option here. Now I had a go of this earlier and I could not find a reverse button. So, don't know what the go is there, but on with the show. Now obviously you gotta come first, win the race, move on to the next event. I think it's like four or five different races per event. I'm not really sure, I haven't really had a look yet. I mean, the controls, they're alright. They're a bit sensitive, but with a bit of practice, you get the hang of it. Graphics, yeah, they're alright. I mean, the draw distance isn't the best, but it's, it's okay. I actually really like the sound effects of all the cars. This isn't the easiest game, by the way. It's just, the controls are a little sensitive. This is an all right game, honestly. This is a fun little game, just to mess around with. We just hit some dirt. Oh, just got airborne. Like I said earlier, you got a couple of tracks to choose from. Snow, dirt, you can go in the mountains. There's a good variety, I guess. As you can see, my car's taking a bit of damage. She's running a bit rough. She's a bit stiff. Are you familiar with tank controls? Well, yeah. I don't know how you'd come first place in this game. This is not that easy. But overall, this is a pretty good mode. Nothing over the top. Big drift. Whoa. Whoa, we rolled her. Back in the select screen, we'll check out paint. Now this is pretty cool. You got yourself a paint workshop. You do yourself different panels, the hood. This is a pretty cool feature, I thought. We'll check out arcade quickly. You get yourself one player or two player, pretty cool feature. You choose each map. You can change it to day or night. Let's roll. And off we go. Now obviously this game isn't in the same league as say Gran Turismo, but 
this is an alright game, to be honest. This gets the job done. I don't think you can do a burnout. Well, there you go, you can even do a burnout. Gran Turismo is a simulator based racing game and was designed by Yasunori Yamanushi. Probably butchered that. The game was developed by Polys Entertainment, later established as Polyphony Digital, and published by Sony Entertainment. Shipping a whopping 10.85 million copies worldwide as of 2013, many publications have deemed this game to be one of the greatest games of all time. But today, we're not going to have a look at number one. We're going to jump straight into the sequel and have a look at Gran Turismo 2, developed by Polyphony Digital and published by Sony Entertainment. The game was released on the 23rd December 1999 North America and the 28th of January 2000 in Europe and Australia. The game features a total of 650 cars, 27 racing and rallying tracks, an introduction to licenses and more championships. Now even though this game sold considerably less than Gran Turismo 1, this game right here, to me, is one of the greatest racing games of all time. Let's check it out. The game comes with two discs, got yourself GT mode and arcade mode. We'll check out GT mode. I haven't heard that in so long. Ugh, still gives me goosebumps. Got yourself a language option here. Game's title screen. I'm just gonna start game. Games Hub World, you got yourself Go Race, Home, License, all the cities, all the cities contain different um, manufacturers of cars, you got yourself Wheel Shop, Car Wash, Machine Test, well we'll go to a city first, we'll buy ourselves a car, we'll go North City. As you can see, you got all types of manufacturers of cars, this is obviously German. As I said, this game has a lot of content when it comes to cars. We've got East City, have a look at that. This is my kind of place. This is all Japanese kind of cars. Go Nissan, both of the Nissan. Got used cars, new cars, tune, specials, and game we've got events. So yeah. What a lot of variety here. Music, quirky, catchy, I love it. Ooh. We might buy ourselves a Sylvia, I think. There's some pretty good cars here, like they give you a big variety of cars. And I'm pretty sure in the used car selection it changes as you progress through the game. And you've got all types of models, makes, different like types of cars. Like this game has more content than some of the Gran Turismo's made today. I'm not even joking. Top S, 200SX, not bad. Got a brief description of the car, the horsepower, the make, the model. Fantastic. I think this is us here. K series, 2 litre turbo, I think this is us. As I was saying earlier, you can tune and customise your car. I mean, there's just a ton of content in this. You've got all sorts of bits and pieces you can customise, tune. You can't physically change the car's appearance, but I mean, it does, that doesn't matter. You got a brief description of what the part does. You gain a horsepower. Turbo. Turbo kits, intercoolers, different stages. Obviously different gains in horsepower. Again, brief description.
Unfortunately, you only start with 10 grand, so yeah, we spent most of that on the car. We just bought ourselves a chip earlier as well, so we can't really afford anything else. Let's take this beast for a spin. Bad tunnel screen, go race. Now you got different leagues, Grand Turismo League, special event. And now these endurance races, <laughs> they're legit the real thing. Like if you want to do a thousand miles or a hundred miles or whatever, these legit races, they go for two hours, three hours, and they can be a bit tedious. But the car that you can win is definitely worth the payoff. We'll check out Grand Turismo League. As you see, you got different championships, different nationals. Let's we'll check out Japanese. I think you need a license to race in this, so we might have to just test drive our car. But as you can see, you got different races, different classes for different races as well, different places, how much money you're gonna win. Pretty decent. All right, we'll go machine test, test this bad boy out. You can change settings, you record it, watch your replay. Your manual. And we're off. seconds. Now as you can see the car's a bit slow at the moment but obviously you're you know, meant to race, get better parts for your cars, modify your car, make it the fastest you can get it. Yeah. Now the PlayStation's known for a bit of a bad draw distance when it comes to some games, but honestly this game, pretty good. Like, you can see everything that's coming. You got a little track map down there to tell you where you are on the map. I mean, it's good design. This is such a good design game. You tap your e-brake, little power slide. This is a classic racing game, mate. Eh? We'll check out a wheel shop quickly. As you see, different brands of wheels. BBS, Bridgestone, quite a good variety. You get a 360 view of the car. You get to see what the rims look like. Again, a big variety of rims. All right, check out car wash. And this is the car wash. She's washed, off we go. Have a look at license. Now in Grand Turismo 1, you only had three licenses, I'm pretty sure. You had your A, your B, your International. This, you got a couple extra licenses. Each license consists 10 tests you gotta pass in order to obtain the license. We'll just check out one basic one. And you can change your view options using the R buttons. Change the manual if you want. We'll just go automatic at the moment. Now you can tell that this game is really taking advantage of the hardware. This looks pretty damn good. This is just a basic starting and stopping test. Me and my brothers used to grind this game. We used to try to pass all the tests, get all the licenses. I'm pretty sure we got pretty close. Yeah. And the mighty GDR. We'll go again, but in manual. 
the center of this thing. Now the controls in this game, dead set, you cannot beat them. They're just, they're perfect. Like, everything feels so good. You feel as if you're in control, and that's what you want in a game. Yeah, man, this is a fantastic game. Ah, oh, bugger. I forgot to mention, the game has a cinematic intro as well. It's pretty cool. Early 2000s techno vibe I get. Alright, let's check out arcade mode. So you go to single player, two player battle, bonus items and low guest garage. Now I'm pretty sure the bonus items, you can get yourself a couple cinematic intros. You can get yourself some bonus items in there. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. We'll check out single player. We've got road race, rally, and time trial. We'll check out a rally. We'll just go to the Impreza. This is a basic rally track. We set the uh, settings to drift so we can pop some drifties. This is heaps of fun back in the day. Obviously you get no points or nothing, but I mean, yeah, you make your own fun back in the day. To be honest, rallying was the most fun in this game, because you could just drift. It's got a bit of power, eh? No STI. As you can see, I'm a bit rusty. It's been, yeah, maybe 20 years, but this game definitely holds up still today. Just hit the tarmac. Top this beast out. This map's called Tahiti Road. Soundtrack overall is pretty good. You got yourself a bit of rock and a bit of classic. Overall pretty good. Yeah man, this is one fun game. Overall, Gran Turismo 2 is way ahead of the competition at the time, featuring hundreds of cars to choose and modify, fantastic and visually stunning car models and tracks, innovative controls that define a driving simulator, and the attention to detail is just overwhelming. Like seriously, the amount of content in this game is just amazing. This game to me still holds up today, and I'd go back and play this game any day. I'd give Gran Turismo 2 a solid 9 out of 10. Top Gear Rally and Grand Gizmo 2 are two fantastic games that I highly recommend checking them out. Now tune in next time as we continue our journey deeper into the car racing genre with such games as Driver and Mario Kart 64. As always, I'm Bees Peters and if you made this far into the video, my gift to you, some turbocharging flutter. Enjoy.